Hey everybody, it's Craig and I'm here with another Pocket Now Face-Off, this time between the Samsung Galaxy S2 and the Motorola Droid Bionic. All right, let's kick off our face-off. Before we get to it, I want to thank the good folks at Best Buy and Mobile for setting me up with the Motorola Droid Bionic. If you're in need of a smartphone, make sure you stop by and check out the good folks at Best Buy Mobile. All right, let's kick this off. We're going to run through the specs first up, then we're going to boot up and check the available RAM on both. Then we're going to run both of them through the Quadrant Center Benchmark Test, Smart Bench Test, as well as Linpack Pro. Then we're going to do our unofficial speed test, our little gaming extravaganza, our browser comparison, and last but not least, attached to the end of this video will be a video comparison shot from both of today's contestants. All right, let's kick this off. Samsung Galaxy S2. Weighs in at 116 grams, the lighter of the two. Offers a 4.3 inch Super AMOLED Plus display with a resolution of 480 by 800. Has Gorilla Glass. Upper left hand corner you've got a 2 megapixel front facing camera for video calls. Below the display you've got two touch sensitive keys. Back key, main menu key, one physical home key. On the back is an 8 megapixel camera with LED flash. Video capture is full 1080p HD. Battery underneath the battery covers 1,650 milliamp hour battery rated at 8 hours and 30 minutes of talk time. Taking a look around on top, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack along with one of the microphones. On the right hand side is the power and lock key. On the bottom, another microphone as well as the micro USB port. And on the left hand side is the volume rocker. Also give you an idea how thin this phone actually is. And on the back in the lower right hand corner is the phone speaker. All right, so that's the Galaxy S2. Let's take a look at the Droid Bionic, the long-awaited Motorola Droid Bionic. Weighs in at 159 grams, so definitely the heavier of the two. Also offers a 4.3-inch display. This, however, is QHD resolution of 540 by 960. Upper left, you have, again, a front-facing, this time, VGA camera for video calls. Below the display, you have four touch-sensitive keys from the left, main menu key, home key, back key, as well as search key. On the back, again, an 8 megapixel camera, this time with dual LED flash. Video capture, again, full 1080p HD. Battery underneath the battery cover, you've got a 1735 milliamp hour battery rated at 10 hours and 40 minutes of talk time. Up on top, power and lock key, as well as a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the right hand side is the volume rocker. On the bottom is a microphone. And on the left hand side is the HDMI port, as well as a micro USB port. And on the back, in the lower left-hand corner, is the phone speaker. All right, more specs. Let's look at processors. Galaxy S2 has the 1.2 gigahertz dual-core Exynos processor. The Droid Bionic offers the 1 gigahertz dual-core Tegra 2 processor. Both offer 1 gigabyte of RAM. As far as internal storage, the Droid Bionic offers 16 gigabytes of internal storage. The Galaxy S2 comes in two versions, either 16 or 32 gigabytes of internal storage. Both use micro SD cards. Both can expand internal storage an additional 32 gigabytes to the use of a micro SD card. As far as Wi-Fi, Galaxy S2 offers 802.11 A, B, G, and N, support for DLNA as well as HDMI out. Droid Bionic 802.11 B, G, and N with support for DLNA and HDMI out. Bluetooth Galaxy S2 version 3 with support for high-speed data transfer. Droid Bionic version 2.1. Both can be used as Wi-Fi hotspots. Both offer a GPS uh, as far as their GPS is concerned. Both run on Android 2.3 Gingerbread. The user interface on the Galaxy S2 is Samsung's TouchWiz 4.0. And on the Droid Bionic, I guess you'd call it Moto Blur, would be the overlay. Next up, let's boot up both of our contestants and check for available RAM at boot. And we'll get the Galaxy S2 running. There it goes. And we'll fire up the Droid Bionic. Get those centered for you and let them do their thing. And the Galaxy S2 looks to be there first. There we go. Here comes our Droid Bionic. Galaxy S2, we're going to Settings, Applications, Manage Apps, Running. And 
and it's currently showing 607 megabytes, around 600 megabytes free at the moment. Let's see, we'll go to settings on the Droid Bionic. Applications, where are the applications? There it is. Manage. Running. And we've got 400. Let's give it a minute to settle. 479. And it looks like on the Galaxy S2, you're going to have a little better than 600 megabytes of memory available, free memory available. And on the Bionic, you're going to have a little less than 500, around 480 megabytes free available after boot. First test up, we're going to run the Quadrant Standard Benchmark Test, and we're off. we got a good clean start on both. All right, we've got our results on the Droid Bionic, a little over 2,000 on the Quadrant Standard Benchmark, and on the Samsung Galaxy S2, um, 30, a little over 3,300. So our winner here is definitely the Galaxy S2 of our Quadrant Standard Benchmark Test. Next up is the Smart Bench test, and we're off. Good clean start on both again. All right, let's take a look at our results. We've got a split decision. Our CPU winner is definitely the Galaxy S2, a little over 3,800 versus 2,800 on the Droid Bionic. As far as GPU, uh, we've got the Droid Bionic at 2,500, besting the 2,230 of the Galaxy S2. All right, last but not least, we're gonna run Limpack Pro, and we'll run single thread, and we're off. And as far as megaflops, our Galaxy S2 is the winner with 51.653 megaflops versus the Droid Bionic at 43.732. All right, it's time to run our unofficial speed test. I've just rebooted up both of them, so we'll start with settings. And I'll try and get those as even as possible. Look pretty much like a dead heat. Let's try contacts. That seemed to be the Galaxy S2, but not by heck of a lot. Let's try maps. It definitely seemed to be the Galaxy S2. Let's try a calendar. That seemed to be the um, Droid Bionic, I believe. Gmail. That was hard for me to tell as well. Let's try YouTube. And they're both running off the same Wi Fi network, and that was obviously the Droid Bionic. Let's try the market. And that was definitely the Droid Bionic again. Droid Bionic seems to be quicker when we're internet's involved based off this Wi-Fi. Let's try Fandango third party. And let's see if we can run a trailer on both. Play trailer. And we're off. See so who loads that up quicker. And I think that was a Droid Bionic by a hair. So there's a look at our unofficial speed test. All right, time for our little gaming extravaganza. I know this is your favorite part of all the reviews I do. And we'll kick this off with the Droid Bionic. And we're off. And again, the fact I'm doing this through a camera can make it a little bit more difficult. So much for that shortcut, huh? Where's my ramp? There it is. Yeah, baby. Good air. All right. Let's try the Galaxy S2. And we're off.
All right, there's a look at our gaming extravaganza on the Droid Bionic and Galaxy S2. All right, it's time to ramp up today's face-off between the Samsung Galaxy S2 and the Motorola Droid Bionic for PocketNow.com. I've got them both running off the same Wi-Fi network. I've got the cache and history cleared on both. And I've got flash fully enabled on both. So, seeing as how my Galaxy S2 is running out of juice, we better hurry up and get this done. Let's head over to Engadget to start on both. And we're going to go to the full site. And there it is. And we're off. And it looks as if the GS2 is out in front a little bit. Here comes the Droid Bionic. Looks like it's going to be a Galaxy S2. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. It's the Galaxy S2, and the Droid Bionic was right behind it. But as you can see, there's a big difference as to how smooth they are. And the Droid Bionic's pretty smooth, but it's nothing compared to the Galaxy S2 when it comes to the browser. It is just incredibly smooth. And let's double tap and zoom in on both. And there's a good look at the text for you on both. And again, pinch to zoom. Both very smooth, no issues at all. One thing that's nice there we go, yeah, it rewraps. The Galaxy S2 doesn't. You have to set the size as to how large you want it to zoom in. If you pinch the zoom and double tap on it again, it simply pulls out. But as far as being smooth, I would have to say it's butter. All right, let's head over to Pocket Now. There are smartphone reviews. Here we go. Smartphone news and reviews, and we're off. And Galaxy S2 went to the mobile site. Let's go to the full site and see how we end up here. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Desktop's what I want. All right, here we go. I've given the Troy Bannock maybe an insurmountable lead, although here comes the Galaxy S2. A little bit behind. You can see the flash is starting to load on the Droid Bionic. Right, here comes the Galaxy S2. Not too far behind right now. And let's see. And it looks like, I couldn't tell. I think it was a draw. Uh, and actually you've got a flash ad that loaded on the uh, Galaxy S2 that didn't load on the Droid Bionic even though flash is enabled on both. Uh, Droid Bionic is good, but it's just not anywhere near as smooth, and I think you can see that through the video compared to the uh, Galaxy S2. Let's double tap to zoom in. Both of them handle it very well. And you can see that it's just not quite as smooth. Let's head over and take a look at the article itself and see who loads that quicker. And you can see I just got a text wondering how my review is going. So hopefully you can tell everybody it was wonderful. <clears throat> there we go. And against the Galaxy S2, and it's quite a bit smoother than the uh, Joy Bionic, which still has a loaded. There we go, Joy Bionic just finished. Anyway, there's a look at our browser comparison. Definitely the Samsung Galaxy S2 is quite a bit smoother. Um, it's 1.2 dual core Exynos processor seems to be unmatched as far as um, handling browsing between these two and the 1 gigahertz Tegra 2 on the uh, Joy Bionic. So, anyway, there's our look at our pocket now face off between the Samsung Galaxy S2 and Motorola Joy Bionic. Be sure you hang in there and we'll have the video comparison, um, 1080p video from each coming up right after this. Take care.